Okay, so we it's are motivation. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I think Rosa <coughs> is joining in. Okay, so we were talking about the initial consonant sound. Uh, hi, Yusra. Hi. So nice to have you. <laughs> yeah, I just saw these things happening. I didn't notice any of these messages. I was in school. Oh, did you? Are you home now? Or are you in school still? Yeah, we're having two weeks of virtual school. Ah, okay, fine. So I'm done with my lesson. I have one more after this. I oh, think I have okay. half. Okay, yeah. okay. So anyway, no nice to have you on board. So we were talking about okay, this okay. IPA practice, um, mm -hmm. the initial consonant sound. So mm -hmm. yeah, some of us have already done it and I have done it like quarter, not quarter, like a little bit more than half, I think. So oh, really? okay. yeah, so and uh, Netumini, uh, how do we find? Yes, Misha, actually I also previously thought like this and I wrote the same answers as yours. Okay. But after I asked from Sir Sam, okay. he said I have to write the the initial consonant means the consonant sound comes after the vowel. It means, uh, for example, uh -huh. one. One means the O sound comes first and then N sound comes next. The okay. N will be the initial consonant according to him. Ah, okay. So that is only for one night. Ah, that is for words that begins with the vowel letter. Only for mm. words that begin okay. with the vowel letter, I think. So, okay. So we need to clarify this, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes. So can you, can you uh, say it again? I mean, so isn't it uh, the beginning consonant? No? Yeah, yeah. No, but what uh, Nithumini says is that we, we take uh, the word one. So mm -hmm. now I, when we say word one, so it's it sounds like W, right? The, the first consonant, yes. it sounds W. But now she has uh, rechecked it with, the, uh, with Sir. So he has said, uh, leaving the vowel sound, the next consonant sound is the first initial consonant the initial. sound. That's what he yeah, has said. He said. Yeah, okay. So probably that is the rule for the words that begins with a vowel sound, I think. Like that. Isn't it? So we mm -hmm. need to clarify on that. Yes. Don't you all think so? Yes. So initial const. Uh... So what do you think, Yusra? Tell me uh, what do no, you No, I... No, I, you know, I'm a person who doesn't like to put too much rules inside because I'll forget. <laughs> sure. I have a very bad memory issue. So what I was uh, thinking was, because I asked, I remember asking, sir, he said, since it's IPA, there is nothing like a rule that we have to follow. As long as like, if you are, if you think you can make a word, like say we have one, if we yeah, think yeah. with IPA, also, we can yeah. make one, you are if correct. that is correct. If it's acceptable, he said, yes, then you will get the mark. There is no original rules and you have to use this. You have to use that. So I. Yeah, yes, you try is correct. Are you all there? Suddenly all went blank. Okay. I thought of following that because for me, if I get go to follow rules, like you're talking about consonants. And all, now it's good to rules as teachers also. We have to do it. We have to learn it because we have to teach it to the other, other generation that's going to come. Yeah, up, that up. is true. But what you are saying is correct, uh, Yusra. There is no proper far, hard and fast rule in this. Yes, rule. But, but, yeah. but if they say initial consonant sound, right? Mm -hmm. There is a position, right? Initial mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, there is a position. True, true. So that mm -hmm. means we need to know exactly what this position and how to differentiate it and identify it. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And about uh, is uh, what did uh, what did uh, this one? Our batch step tell? Did she talk to Samsa? Has she told? Probably if Samsa would allow, then yeah. we could use the IPA that easy chart. No. We could use the IPA that easier chart. So for that to worry about any you know complicated issues. But uh, did you see the message, like uh, Did you see the message sent by uh, Krish yesterday? Because what she already responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because, uh, Sam sir mm -hmm. is the one who uh -huh. has to 
ஒப்பீன் I thought if I follow that particular chart, I will eventually be able to even memorize the chart. Once we do with practice, that automatically, you know, it moves into our head, right? So I thought I could do that with uh, the, the IPA. So I thought of not taking IPA as a huge thing in the head. I thought of making it very simple. So then, because, you know, if I use the simple IPA chart, it's going to make things very simple. I feel, I feel, I guess IPA is the first time for me also. so i hope everyone should be the reason why i suggested that particular chart is also because i noticed there were certain people in our class itself like they they personally told me and because i was right sitting behind and all of that they told me that this ipa chart is quite difficult to form words if it's a previous chart it has here me if we don't have to follow rules with that particular ipa chart things will be made very easy i feel yeah that is true so we will be able to sort it out uh, on our next lesson mm. with uh, sir and get the easiest one possible yes uh, so right so then we uh, rose uh, one question yes, here yes definitely but exact but, okay yeah, yeah. so yes uh, michelle you can continue yeah so netumini i just put down uh, an and i just yeah. put down a comment like this um well we know what to ask sir right i'm just going to put yeah. down the Michelle, can you add like this because uh, initially i thought that initial <coughs> means what sounds first right first initial means Let's... first yeah yeah so then we have to ask the yeah. uh, consonant letter comes yeah. after vowel or before vowel right we okay. have to clarify it yeah so which comes out because i only for, is it only uh, letter is it only okay is it only for words beginning with vowel letter so that is the before this? before cons before vowel term wait can i can i uh, can i ask what is this initial sound and things it's talking about yeah that clueless act yeah this is you can see here um, uh, yusra this uh, what sir gave us right yeah okay so yes it says initial consonant sound right so what well, initial means the first consonant sound when we sound first our consonant word. sound yeah. yeah so here now one actually starts with a vowel letter one right uh, yes yes so now i thought it's w seems to be the initial consonant sound is the sound that comes after the vowel sound right so it's mm. a bit complicating there now i'm just yeah. uh, i'm i'm just thinking that maybe it is the rule for only words that begins with the vowel letter right vowel, yes. it might But, be no yeah no vowel. you're right michelle yes what you say may does make sense uh, at the same time i don't know i'm just telling you because we, we should uh, we could ask this also from sir uh, should we look into the, the initial i mean can we just look into the sound and according to sound if we can give ip it makes things easier <laughs> yeah so uh, and and the next other words of course now uh, we we mm, k no. is silent k mm. is silent so it yeah, should be in no no, no, no right? yeah no. that's and, what, that's what i'm saying basically it's with the sound the way we pronounce with the sound if we can yes. go with the uh, ipa i mean if yeah. we have to go with the sound yeah. it's easy uh, then i how feel about the word we can ask black the, how about the word black b blur b so it's b right it should be b b B, but yeah but, 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 but for netumini now since uh, there is a contradiction con it's contradicting because uh, yeah. has said the initial con uh, the consonant sound is not the one which we sound first, first one. but oh. which comes after the first uh, the first uh, vowel. vowel sound right am i right netumini yeah. first vowel kian ni in this class the n you are talking about yeah so yeah. I, I, we said in here the Answer is in. He said like that because I also wrote the same answers like Michelle. Oh. He said it. 
So uh, is it like the one, asking, one, asking, one, is it not task? The but we we clarify it, Miss. Yeah, that's the thing. We need to clarify it, and also this yeah. is wrong. What I have put here, Thomas, because oh. we say Thomas, but but British people say Thomas, Thomas. Oh. I no, again, know. yeah, they are also Sir Tom. That is on the way we pronounce. So yeah, don't worry about so that. that. If you think it's Thomas, we can go with it. It's fine. Yeah, but so what's the what's the initial consonant in Thomas? It's so initial consonant for me. Yeah, initial consonant in Thomas. But the, yes. because it's, and let's go on to the second one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. have one more thing that I have to tell, to be honest. I mean, I'm not saying Sir did something wrong or something, but I feel like Sir should have explained this in class to everybody. Uh, probably we'll have to bring it up and then he might. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Yeah, I mean, he probably. should. We, we know everything. Because now, if yeah. I had not joined this class, I am clueless. What's happening here? What is this consonants? What is this? I I'll be clueless if I didn't join this. So we should so be what, knowing, uh, right? Sam sir is a uh, too much energetic. He's running around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he has too much, much to give. I think he has no, a yeah, lot that's to right. give. Exactly. <laughs> Man, I'm not blaming him. He I'm not saying know. anything wrong, but I you know, know, I'm just saying like, when he's giving a word, like maybe we should tell him next time. So if you're giving us an activity, yeah. please like, you know, uh, explain us about the activity, tell us about the activity. So it makes things easier for us to see it because we don't, most of us don't understand how to do this activity and having, are having issues with this only we have not yet submitted. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. anyway, we, we can bring it up, bring it up and ask him. To yeah, maybe we should do that. Yes, 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 definitely. Yes. Then can yes. I know who's visa me? Who? Who? Who's visa me? Visa. Oh, that's my, my son's uh, uh, Zoom I'm using. <laughs> yeah, who's behind that account? <laughs> I guess I guess I guess the voice did sound like Sister Anne. <laughs> yeah, Anne. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm no problem. Sound. Okay, so so we have a question on this initial consonant uh, sound, and then the, this is the middle, middle, middle. Um, yes, middle, that is middle, middle sound. consonant sound. So it should be the middle. Netumini, were you able to ask anything? Did anyone ask uh, about the? Uh, yes, I, I asked. Uh -huh. I asked, and I wrote the same answers as you, Michelle, ah. and uh, I got the same answers. He said that is uh, those, those ah. answers are correct. So uh, okay, so let's see what now. What comes in the middle? Not comes the word. Middle. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what about you, Zra? Are you comfortable? Do you know the middle sounds? How to find it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, no? But here, this that's is fine. wrong. Huh? This is wrong. I'm telling you, I'm hello, wrong. Hello, hello. Is, isn't it? Ah, oh, okay. So, what is, how, do you, how do you usually spell this word? Azure. 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 Okay, yeah. It's Azure. Right? I mean, if you, go to, if you go to spell it in the posh way, it's Azure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think it's it's uh, it um it's sound yeah yeah like there was a sound like that oh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The I can't remember the symbol actually I can't remember um the, yeah je. no there was a symbol I remember he gave it yeah. to some something I can't remember I, I can't remember the symbol I, it, I can't memorize it. Uh, right. So, so, so I'm I'm wrong here. It's not uh, you actually. It's not as do. It's it's as do. Sure. 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 Yeah. Sure. So, uh, later, future, future. So everything is is fine. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. So no questions on that. Okay. So what are mono monophthongs and diphthongs? Yeah, that's a very interesting thing. Monophthongs and yeah. You shared a nice document, right? Huh? Yes, I remember that. You shared that. a nice yeah, document yeah. regarding monothong and diphthong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I didn't did. go through. <laughs> yeah. Very, very in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, I uh, because I was doing some, um, I mean, investigations on this. What is this monothong? Because uh, I did not hear those words. 
at the lecture. Yeah, that's why. Even I didn't. And so when I saw the document which says monotone diphthongs, because like I told you, I'm not a person who puts too much in my plate. So I was thinking, okay, sir, in teach no, let's not open and see, I get confused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> right. To be honest, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. So basically, one of tongue is that um, vowel sound in which the tongue stays in one position, right? Oh. Yes. One of okay. one of tongue. Right. One of tongue is one that the tongue stays in one a vowel sound. A vowel sound in which the uh, tongue stays in one position. So build, threat, stoop, hook, ball. Oh. So when we so, say those words, uh, like the you know the vowel sound stays four, in one right? position, our tongue stays in one position. Yeah, yeah one for two, example, right? it's it's only the vowel sounds, right, Misha? Yeah, only yeah, the vowel yeah. sounds. Yes, mm -hmm. like e, e, ear, e, 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, no, the tongue is in the same place. <laughs> it's in the same yeah, place. tongue and the mouth both. Yes, mm. mouth. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right? It doesn't change. Mm. But this mm -hmm. tongue means where the tongue changes position to produce two vowel uh, sounds. Oh, okay. Oh, a. Yeah. Oh, a. I. Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. So, yeah. Uh, Michelle, yeah. As I <laughs> actually as I know, you are correct, right? The monotone is a uh, one vowel sound and diphthong is two vowel sound. Yeah, so I it, don't like that. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You can take mm, it. That right, also right. could be an yeah, single of, vowel yeah, and yeah. double vowel. Yeah. So but technically, technically yes, mon we yeah. Ready sound as yeah. So technically, monophthong means that double tongue and mouth does not change position to produce the vowel sound. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the diphthong means that our mouth and the tongue changes position to produce two vowels. Two vowel sound. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but you know, like uh, Netmini said, it could be also used as a strategy to remember. Yeah, yeah, we can remember we, things. We can remember like that. It's easy. Yeah, yes. it's a strategy. Double yes. vowel and double vowel. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yes, true, exactly. true. Okay, right. So I think we have uh, completed. Uh, or oh, how do we have? All oh, right, a yeah, little bit more. I have not done this anyway. If we, Michelle, I did it, but yeah. you know, uh, I had some issues with that because the, uh, for example, first one, okay, exact word came as carrot. Oh ah, yes, right? carrot. Okay. Yeah, so we have to find another one. Then yeah. is that correct? Yeah. It so now, now here, uh, example. No, 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 no. Next minute, you don't have to find two. The example gives you two. Yeah, exactly. You can either call it hair or hair. Is that both the same spelling? No, it doesn't mean you should find two. One is enough. The, Either the one is there. The question is, give the two English words. Give the two English words mm -hmm. represented mm -hmm. by each of the following transcriptions. Okay, right? so for example, you if you take it as carrot, ah. that A-E is more like A, right? So it could be a, the carrot, C-A-R-R, carrot. And or there's another carrot, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, the gold, gold carrot. Gold yeah. Carrot. Yeah. Like carrot. The carrot, yeah. Yes. The gold yes. carrot. I, I don't like that, but in some some words there are another issues came like G. Mm -hmm. Which one? Like what G? It's grown, right? Grown. Ah, it could be this grown. In when you sleep, you grown. I mean no, not not you know that G R O A N grown. That grown. G R O A N. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that also G -R -O -W -N -N. could be a grown. N is grown. Yeah, yeah. One is grown. G R W N. Yeah, G R O W N. Other one is G R O A N. Grown. It could be both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about then time? Uh, last last word J. Time. T time. T time. 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 Fine. Time. Fine. Fine. No. Time. Time. No. Not there, that. Right? It has to no, sound it like. It has to time. be the same. Same. Same spelling. I mean, the same pronunciation. Mm. Yeah. You can take time as T I M E and also time. Uh, there is one called T A Y M, right? What does that what does that so what what does that mean? Time. Is that a word? Yeah, 
<laughs> no, 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 no they, it's not even a <laughs> The IPA mm. is different, right, than this? Oh, same spirit of time. IPA is the same, right? I mean, uh, same, same. Same, same. same, same. Time. A uh, rhyme? Time. Rhyme? Time. Can we take Ten. Uh, no, no, you know, it's size two, no, Misha? Two. Two, yeah. Time. 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 It has to be a we can take it as tame t a m e because we can take if we take t a m e we call it tame but in the British accent like tame. <laughs> <laughs> How that? But it has to be i right i i. Yeah, I. that's just that. Now this i is for the pronunciation. No, uh, if we take it as t i m e, it's time. Correct. According to this, is correct. At the same time, t a m e. Even though we call it tame uh, with accent, we call it tame. So, but we have to see uh, tame, T A I M, right? Uh, how is the IPA symbol for that? Oh, no, no, T A M E, I'm talking about. T A M E. Yeah, yeah, but then IPA will be T E I M, right? How about the desert, Yusra? Desert, no? What desert? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. We call the sweets like uh, after the land, we, we get desert. And yeah. Desert. Can we use desert. that word here? But uh, you know, no, in, uh, I didn't get you. T A I M, tame. Mm. Uh, that is the IPL is like this. I'll show you. Well, I didn't bring T -E -I the T A I M. I didn't bring the T, -T E I M word. It's uh, like this. Yes. Yeah, I can't the symbols like, like that. Yeah. This is, no, I didn't bring tame. Okay. I didn't but say what called said, tame. We can pronounce it either way, right? Yeah, no, what I am saying is, you know, these two, I put on chat box, okay? Tame. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about this tame. Taming an animal? Yes. This oh, yes. tame, tame. Which, yeah. which when spelled, when pronounced, we could say tame. We say I tame, guess. right? So then yeah. it sounds like this. That was I, what I said, not this tame. No, no, no. This is the same thing what I'm talking about. Yes. Tame oh, really? This is the way, like oh. the way the, that driving aim, tame. So this oh, tame. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It then we have to I. pronounce it like time. Ah, <laughs> I is tame. different. I is different. This is A. I is this. Okay, okay. Mm, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. And I, I only it. found time word in there. I had to find another one word. Time could give you a yeah, time and time, 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 time. Any other word for time? I don't know. Starting, it has to start with T, uh, is it? It has to start. What about the by? Yeah. yeah, it has to start with T. What? How about this one? By? No? Isn't it? By? Yeah, but by? This then this by? Both are same. Both well, the same, right? Yeah. So, by what? B U I and B Y mm, ah, I, su I suppose the same. What, what do you think, Bishop? Uh, o and by B Y E. We have to check the IPA. Now, by B, mm. that car that you know that. Well, that is by. Yeah. That has to have a double A by or the or the A the the the, the, the dragging a by. Both the IPA has the same uh, this thing. What do you call symbols? Mm -hmm. Yeah, both has the same symbols. Oh. How do we differentiate B by E then? Uh, is also the same. <laughs> but then again, I think uh, we will get a mark, right? Because they, they are the same. Yeah. By, by, by. All the IPA, the sound uh, symbols are the same. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't know. If there's heaps in that. <laughs> I, yes, I, and you are. Your examples are correct. Yes. I is, yeah, that A, 
without the crossing and e i mm -hmm. and i meaning okay i might have to leave now because i have five minutes more for the class Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I came and interrupted your peaceful session because I know I talk too much. No, and... no, no, no. It was a great to have you because we need, you know, everyone to come and join and, you know, put their knowledge, share their knowledge. That is. Uh, now, is this a session that you are like, is it, is it just a study session or is this a Zoom session of Kiara is planning? <laughs> Helping out Kiara actually because she can't take the responsibility for all 40 students. So I'm doing a session like maybe every day. Whoever it is that can join in can join in and we I can I'm going to send these recordings to her with whatever that we discussed. So she can maybe put up it uh, put it up on our what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. And then that's and that is good because I feel sorry for that child also all the yeah, time texting the time everyone asking. and yeah. you know asking no the other thing is it's like this also she's young you know she's small I also have a feeling like the others are not listening to her because probably because she's small okay you can tell I feel that I don't know I'm just feeling so I feel very sorry for me she, even if others don't feel that like she might feel like it is it because I'm small <laughs> like yeah, the poor child. So, yeah, because so let's uh, just go with whoever comes. You can't be yeah, forcing exactly, everybody. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So, so I'll be having yeah. sessions like in the morning hours whenever I'm free. So whoever oh, is at yeah. that time, so can join in. We can talk about, discuss things, and you know, make like a questionnaire and just have it for our lecturers to answer us. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever we do is for us. If we don't do, it's also for us. Yeah, exactly. Either way, it's for us. Exactly. So we are all grown up adults. Let's just take things like that and go. I feel very sorry for that child asking everyone what time, what time, what time. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, no problem. I'm leaving now. Sorry <laughs> if I had this uh, thank session. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for joining. Okay, bye. sure. I learned. I learned to be honest. Okay, I learned yeah. a lot. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi, Gayatri. Gayatri, I am sorry I didn't mention your name. I just saw you. Okay, so I just I joined now because I I saw the message earlier, but I didn't have a chance to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we were just finishing up with the uh, what do you call the IPA? Not finishing up. Actually, we have a lot more to discuss, but then. Uh, let's go to another uh, subject, isn't it? Shall we? Right, you know, because yes, it, Michelle, it will be better. <laughs> otherwise, it will be so boring. Yes. Like it's only the IPA yes. and IPA. <laughs> it may make you more confused, right? <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. So anyway, we got some kind of insight, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we will discuss yeah. uh, more about this IPA in, in the coming session. So we will be like, you know, experts in identifying the symbols and the sounds. Hope so. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So what are we going to go for next? Shall we do something from nature of English? Acquisition? Yeah. Yeah. Acquisition. Language. Yeah. Acquisition. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we have listen. Now we're going to go by lesson, or shall we discuss what we did uh, in our previous? Which lesson? Uh, uh, Michelle, shall, shall we, discuss? Write, uh, shall we uh, discuss okay. about the writing? That's the worst part in my. <laughs> and you mean the academic writing part? Yes. I mean, like, how do we uh, apply to writing our own? Uh, knowledge because they're going to be writing papers right yeah they are will be uh, for basically for language acquisition i think we'll have to do a research there will be no papers uh, that's what i think i think so, we have to ask it next time right about yeah, the coursework we, definitely we'll have to what's that about the coursework for language acquisition we'll have to do coursework so we'll have to uh, check with uh, the lecturer what kind of coursework that we will be. Uh, yes, then we can prepare now itself. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I asked, um, from, I asked from a senior about the assignments and other things. She told uh, that uh, the 
uh, Miss Erandi. Miss Erandi will inform that we if we have to do an assignment or something before a month. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Right. Okay. So actually, uh, writing, of course, we haven't done a proper lesson. Uh, so Sam has to do it for us. I think it is only uh, Dr. Be who, uh, what's his name? Bennett. Dr. Bennett. Bennett. Yes, he did a um, uh, uh, kind of a uh, session. Did you only that? That is, that's the only one which was done for academic writing. So, Sir Sam, has, he has to do uh, actually academic writing. He's the one who's responsible for that lesson, right? If I'm not mistaken. So he's going to be the responsible for my marks as well then. <laughs> <laughs> so, but well, because it's... Yeah. He didn't even start it anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's see. Anyway, okay. Anyway, now yeah. I do have uh, the slide. Uh, what uh, Doctor Doctor Bennett ben, ben, What's his? Oh, I'm forgetting his uh, name. Benedict, right? No, Benedict. Bennett. Bennett, right? So what yeah, Bennett, uh, Doctor Bennett. Bennett uh, shared i have that but with that i don't think we will get much insight because i of course did not uh, participate for it did you all any one of you all uh, were there no i didn't i missed it no no right i missed it so yeah so uh, did you all see this before uh, this uh, presentation did you all see did you have a time to have a look at this uh, no, from where no. you got this mission? This is uh, after Dr. Bennett's uh, session. Oh, I couldn't open it, Michelle. Can you please share it? Ah, okay. Yeah, this even is... the recording I couldn't open. Ah, the recording, of course, that even I don't have the recording, but I have this presentation with me. Uh -huh. so I think, uh, yeah. So this is how I got it. Hmm. Right, so we just go through what is here. So just to get an idea, but actually we are not being given a proper lesson by, by uh, Sir Sam, uh, as far as I know about academic <laughs> writing. Yeah, so basically it says we have to write writing style. We need to know the plan of this session that is. So, is there still a place for grammar teaching? This is what we uh, did, the Nyagnistic uh, essay. So let's move on here. So what are some key features of academic writing? To be straightforward, to keep to the point, to be clear. Precision is usually important. Precision, did I say that word correctly? Precision. Formal language, avoiding slang, street language. We know all that, right? Those are basic stuff. You don't use uh, yeah. those uh, the kind of words and sentences in uh, essay writing, academic writing. So objectivity. Uh, Otherwise, here... there are seven main features, right? In academic writing, there are seven main features. Yeah. Like uh, explicitness. What are, what are they? <laughs> uh, give me one minute, Anne. If any one of you want to share anything, let me know. I'll give you the uh, body permission. Because I can remember Miss Erandi shared once because I did PC teaser, the mm -hmm. introduction course. Mm -hmm. And in there, she just touched that uh, part. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. Uh, okay. uh, then uh, in her presentation, she told us that uh, there are seven main features in academic writing. Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm in, yeah. So you can share those up with us, isn't it? Yes, if yes. You okay. have, if you can take a, a screenshot or something and... Uh... <coughs> uh the seven fe main features of academic uh, writing. I have to I'll come join with you again, right? Somebody's here. Ah, oh, okay, Anne. Thank you for okay, joining Anne. today. It was right. nice to have you. Thank you. Hope to see you again. 
Uh, formality, hedging, explicitness, precision, complexity, responsibility, and objectivity. Yeah, right. So I think uh, this is what you see on the screen touches all that, isn't it? Don't you? Think? Yes. Sir. So that is yeah. what the key feature. Precision is there. Yeah. Of course, formality, uh, straightforward, keep to the point is yeah. there. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we use formal language, avoiding slack. Yeah. And explicitness means uh, we have to include everything what we are going to tell. Yes. Yes. In, in, yeah. We have to include everything. Otherwise, uh, the as a full document. Hmm. Right. The... Then uh, complexity means we have to write it in a, a simple way, not using very complex words like that. Yeah, okay, okay. So and responsibility have... means the referencing, of course. What are the references ah, we are using? So we have to give credit to the person who wrote it and yeah. such, no? Right. Yeah, yeah. Then objectivity I... also explained here, right? Ah, yes. Being impersonal, reference into evidences. There should be object. What are we going to, why we are writing this? There, yeah. there, are, there are, should be objects, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Hi, Rizwana. Welcome. Yes, Nathalie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. Mikhail and... Okay, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, if you have any yeah. uh, questions or if you want to discuss on anything, so let us know. We, will, we were discussing uh, about academic writing. Yes. Or I will do that and I listen. Yeah. I love you. So, yeah, so which is very important when as teachers, like, you know, I of course teach a lot of, uh, I mean, all of us students when they have like, most importantly, they have a lot of academic writing. So this is very important to actually know uh, the style. Yeah, when we are writing an essay. Essay, definitely. Yeah, organization yeah. like that. Yeah. How so, to start. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so there Otherwise, are... Michelle, we all, we all have to submit a dissertation, right? At the end of this program. Say that again. So, we have to submit a dissertation, right? Yeah. A research paper. Yes. So then yes. for that also, we really need this academic writing part. Yes. When exactly. we are writing a research paper. Yes, exactly. Of course. Yeah. That is the reason they are actually teaching us the academic writing styles and mm. all that. Because now, the like the one we did, the diagnostic research that we did about mm. grammar is needed or not in the classroom. So even yes. that, we have to... Um, I don't know. They, they didn't give us any marks or anything like that. No, because... Yes, yes. Even uh, no any feedback, right? This uh, this is what the feedback is. That is why Dr. Bender uh, had this session, actually. So, uh -huh. probably he would have not liked to each and everyone individually, but in a general way, he would have given a feedback. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So here it says, why is organization organization of writing important? What are some of the elements that help a text to be clearly organized? Subheadings, may I appropriate? Dissertations, yeah. right? Not in essays, but they are useful in reports and dissertations. That's true. Yeah, yeah. in research papers, there are subheadings. Yeah, definitely, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. So paragraphing, yes, that is a very important thing, paragraphing. How, yes. how long should the paragraph be? How do you decide where mm. to begin and end the paragraph? How should you start a paragraph? Mm. So what I do with my students when they have to write about 300 to 350 words, right? So that is basically okay. the academic writing word count. So I tell them to split the word count into uh, their paragraphs because usually uh, in whatever, like say uh, specifically in a essay writing, there should be an introductory paragraph and two or three body paragraphs and the concluding paragraph. So that is how usually the paragraphing is. First, yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. introductory paragraph. Now, since okay. I have read this Cambridge Audible books, 
what they uh, advise is uh, for introductory paragraph you can have about 50 words 50 words not more than 50 words uh -huh. that is about okay. yeah three uh, four to five sentences maybe like that uh -huh. yeah. Then this as an introduction yeah introductory yeah, introduction. paragraph and even the concluding paragraph, we can have about 50 words. And then that is four to five sentences. And oh, the, okay. yes, in the body paragraphs, like say if, if for the introductory paragraph and uh, the conclusion, you take about 100 uh, words aside, and then the rest, you should divide it among the body paragraphs. Yeah. So, um, even in body paragraphs, we can write as point by point, right? Yes, that exactly. For a, for a one point, one paragraph. Exactly. Like that. So that is yeah. called actually topic sentence. We have to start oh. a para paragraph with a topic sentence or oh. paragraph topic. Mm -hmm. It's called a paragraph topic. So that to oh. each and every paragraph, there is a purpose. So that is how we have to organize our writing. Yeah. Yeah. Then the, they will be really linking and uh, exactly creative. Yes, yeah. it's flowing. Sorry, say that again. It is flowing, right? The flow is going. Yeah, nicely. yeah. That means we have to interconnect now. Even though we separate paragraphs, each and mm. every paragraph has to link with one another. So yes. there, are, there are some linking words that we can use. Uh, yes. So afterward, after like yeah, furthermore, furthermore, besides, aside, yeah. on the other hand, nevertheless, there are some in order to in order to yes. So yeah. in those, with using those words, actually show uh, the examiner that we are uh, having some kind of knowledge in using mm -hmm. these linking mm -hmm. devices, mm -hmm. linking devices. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all that linking devices. Yes, linking devices. So, okay, yes. So, basically, that's how why I, I tell because uh, now, if, if anyone wants any details about this, I do have some, you know, uh, because when it comes to uh, London O levels, uh, it's basically looking at London O levels 1, 1, 2, 3, right? Cambridge. Uh, because they have a lot of other codes as well. So, this is where in Sri Lanka they do 1123 code number 1123 for level English in schools. So, oh. so they look into this uh, uh, specifically reading and writing. Writing. Uh, they give marks for that. Say that again. Uh, really? Say that again. They offer marks. They, they offer marks for the. Uh, you, you said that uh, there, are, there are some specific. Things, right? Yes, 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 yes. They are definitely uh -huh. there is an object assessment. So whenever uh -huh. they write, they they measure their writing on the marking scheme uh, through the object assessments. So there are okay. paragraphs like you know when they uh, write structures also. Now even us when we write, we have to use simple sentences, compound sentences. Uh, yes. Yeah, then uh, compound, simple compound sentences. So, to, for using these and uh, relative pronouns in our sentences. Uh, so, for these also, we actually, I um, mean, measured. Our writing is being measured. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. as I know, the process of academic writing, the structure organization should be first introduction yeah then content mm -hmm. then conclusion yeah uh, yeah then recommendations and suggestions yes so that is right but now mm -hmm. for academic for us that is correct what you said because we have to yeah. do the references but for i mean for yeah. whatever At the end. level they don't have to no no they that. don't want yes. yeah they have don't have to but uh, instead of uh, pro uh, the referencing they can use the experience or examples they'll have to do it in the body paragraph they, they ah, cannot yeah. say no yes they cannot add after, after conclusion they cannot, they drag cannot it. add anything yes yeah. they cannot yes so anything else let's see what our next slide is uh, about so what are appropriate sources 
what are some inappropriate sources and why appropriate scholarly journal articles research articles peer review books from academic publishers so that mm. is um, yeah so basically i i uh, one thing that i came to know of uh, after doing that diagnostic uh, research that we have to get a lot of details from the tesol uh, quarterly journal Oh, that is, that is, is that, that is uh, there is something called uh, tesol quarterly journal if you go on google and type it actually so quarterly. quarterly journal yes there's a lot of uh, army articles you quarterly can... means uh, michelle they are they are uh, giving uh, they are doing it uh, for four journals per year like that something like that i suppose i i just came to know about it so if you just uh, because uh, i was doing a lot of research for this uh, you know this uh, diagnostic uh, uh, thing so uh, i just uh, because uh, uh, in that um, what do you call task if they they had given uh, the uh, references tesol quarterly journal articles so oh, okay. there are many so these uh, people who have brought theories even they are articles are in those uh, journals hmm. so there's okay. a lot you can i mean according to what we learn about uh, language acquisition or whether it is practical english or whatever so there's a lot of articles in that you hmm. can't uh, you can't just uh, access it i think you have to um, pay or something like that but then there are some articles if you just go on searching you might be lucky to get few uh, free downloads <laughs> yes yes otherwise uh, for some research get research papers yeah, also pay. for some we have yeah. to pay yes just yes. of course we have to pay yeah pearson also good right pearson also good but this is like if when we take references now when we have to do research we have to read a lot so it's it's very, yes, very good course. to go through hmm. this uh, tesol journal uh, quarterly journal quarterly journal yes yeah. because uh, it bears some gravity if we take from people who have written in those articles it gives gravity to what we are writing because yes. now there are people who write articles right there are indian there are brazilians there are so many other people but there are some authors like the ones the names that these lecturers mention when they are lecturing so their articles are mentioned in these articles uh, this journal okay. okay but according to this slide wikipedia also inappropriate uh, source right some yeah wikipedia sometimes it doesn't give the proper actual uh, actual yeah. details because mm -hmm. anyone can For academic it. writing we cannot use it no, we cannot we cannot because uh, it can uh, you have a uh, what you call in wikipedia you can edit the details anyone can oh, edit really? the details. yes anyone oh. can edit the details mm -hmm. yes uh, maybe that is the reason Based, behind uh, yeah probably yes because mm -hmm. sometimes it's not up to date wikipedia oh. is not up to date mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay right so so that's about it anyway uh, so what is yeah not really an appropriate source over here english grammar so we can oh. i will share some i think nitumini uh, since you don't have the presentation i'll share this uh, in the group again so that uh, no i found it i found it just i found it ah okay okay so you can go can you share to... this missile oh ah, yes yes rizwan i'll do that okay so here it says uh, if you go through that grammar uh, um, that link uh, is not really an appropriate source so yeah okay so this of course we know right plagiarism we should not do that we have been like heard million times like not to be not to uh, have any plagiarism in our writings because that anyway uh, examiner can uh, identify whether we have done that or not 
Yes, they have some software or something like that. Ah, that's the thing. So, so right. So right. So shall we uh, call it a day today? <laughs> yes, Michelle. Okay, next day we can discuss about language acquisition, right? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, we can do it today also. But then again, now it's one thirty. I need a break. Yeah, I have already one hour. Yeah, I have classes from three o'clock, so needed mm -hmm. to take a break. And anyway, now because of these sessions, even I am you know taking time to study. Otherwise, I'm always neglecting. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, I'm on the same boat. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, 